The FIFA World Cup has a long history of shock results and nations who belied their underdog status to reach the latter stages of the competition. Back in 2002, there were three such teams, co-hosts Korea Republic, third place finishers Turkey and first-time qualifiers Senegal, who shocked champions France in the tournament's opening game. I think the fact of being young, of being 12 or 13, helps you remember better what you see during a FIFA World Cup. The games were shown in the morning in Senegal, so we would wake up around 6 or 7 a.m. for a game kicking off at 8 a.m. and watch the game together. Even though we were young back then, these are images which we will remember forever. The Lions of Taranga would further underline the quality that side possessed in the second match against Denmark, as midfielder Salif Diao finished off an outstanding counter-attacking equaliser. Replaying the action, as Henri Camera wins the ball back, Diao sets off from just outside the penalty area. Camera's precise long pass is met by a clever touch from El Hadj Djouf, who finds his teammate. The midfielder plays a one-touch sweeping pass to Kalilou Fadiga, who runs at the defence. And as striker Suleiman Kamara pulls one defender wide, a slight slip from Jan Heinzer in the middle leaves Diao free to score. From behind, we can see the total distance covered by Diao over 80 metres to help start and finish the move. A ruthless counter-attacking goal would have taken in nearly the whole field with five telling passes and topped off with the finish it deserved. The team would go on to reach the quarter-finals, where they were eliminated by Turkey. Despite defeat, Bruno Metsu's side inspired a whole country, who are now looking forward to their second FIFA World Cup appearance this summer and hoping the current generation can emulate the class of 2002.